Hey everybody, hey, it's Daryl from Pinkneyville Community Hospital. Hey listen, if the weatherman is right, we're looking at uh, quite a bit of snow and ice out there in the next few days. So we want to talk to you about being safe when you walk in the snow and ice. We have 10 tips for you. You know that uh, falls account more for more than 1 million injuries in the U.S. annually. There are four types of walking accidents with the most common being the slip and fall. That's the type of fall that happens when you fall due to a surface not being cleared of snow or ice. So here are 10 tips on safe winter walking. Number one, wear proper footwear. Proper footwear should place the entire foot on the surface of the ground and have visible treads. Avoid a smooth sole and opt for a heavy treaded shoe with a flat bottom. So no high heels, no Crocs, you're asking for a slip and fall. Number two, accessorize to see and be seen. Wear sunglasses so that you can see in the reflective light of the snow. Also, wear a bright coat or scarf so that drivers can easily see you. Number three, plan ahead. While walking on snow or ice, on sidewalks or parking lots, walk consciously. Instead of looking down, look up. See where your feet will be uh, are gonna move next to anticipate ice or an uneven surface. Occasionally scan from left to right to ensure you're not in the way of vehicles or other hazards. There's a lot of Priuses out there and they're quiet and they can sneak up on you if you're not careful. So just watch out. Just always be looking around. Number four, make sure you can hear. While seeing the environment is important, you also want to be sure you can hear approaching traffic and other noises. Avoid listening to music or engaging in conversation that may prevent you from hearing oncoming traffic or snow removal equipment. Number five, anticipate the ice. Be wary of thin sheets of ice that may appear as wet pavement. We know that is black ice. Often ice will appear in the morning in shady spots or where the sun shines during the day and melted snow refreezes at night. So just because there was there wasn't ice there before doesn't mean in a few hours there's not going to be ice there again. So just try to anticipate that. Number number six, <laughs> walk steps slowly. When walking down steps, be sure to grip handrails firmly and plant your feet securely on each step. Number seven, enter a building carefully. When you get to your destination, such as school, work, the store, Walmart, be sure to look at the floor as you enter the building. The floor may be wet with melted snow or ice. Number eight, be careful when you shift your weight. When stepping off a curb or getting into a car, be careful since shifting your weight can cause an imbalance and result in a fall. Number nine, avoid taking shortcuts. Shortcuts are a good idea if you're in a hurry, but it may be a bad idea if there's snow and ice on the ground. A shortcut path may be treacherous because it is likely to be located where snow and ice removal is not possible. And number 10, look up. Be careful about what you walk under. Injuries can result from falling snow or ice as it blows, as it melts, or breaks away from awnings or buildings. And you've seen the icicles and all that. Uh, following these tips, guys, will help ensure that you survive the snow and ice season safely. Hopefully it's not as bad as they say, but we want you, and, and if you have, if you, We'd like you to stay home, if, if at all possible. But if you have to get out, try to keep these things in mind. We want you to stay safe, stay healthy out there. Thank you guys from Pinckneyville Community Hospital.